five percent right there from essentially the floor yeah. to where we're at today and that's just unprecedented i mean i remember when they got that first 75 basis point hike uh last year and everybody about fell out of their chairs and we got four in a row so yeah <laughs> So let's talk a little bit about something we talked to about for the last several months, probably the last year, yeah. um, inflation and, and driving the market. So inflation has been high. Um, it's down to 4.9% now year over year. It's the lowest that's been since April of 21. Um, it may not feel like it if you live in California like we do, because I think I just paid $5 at the pump yesterday, but that's a lot of taxes and extra stuff but inflation is inflation is believe it or not down and that is that is helping drive you know market performance for this year and you know again hasn't been all world but but uh you know decidedly better than last year and you know that's that's correlated very closely with the the fed funds and and reserve rates and expectations so we've had tons of hikes i think 10 since march of 22 um i think we had a slide on that too with with the uh with the rate hikes just to see how fast and if we, we had a chart before i know we've used in monthly market matters where you see the slope of the chart um you know this just shows you the uh, the, the number of rate hikes but uh how fast and how quickly they've hiked rates this time has been like nothing else we've ever seen so it was just uh we've been talking to clients a lot about january of 22 in january 22 you you were earning nothing on your bank deposit and your money market like, we didn't even buy money market because it, it didn't pay anything and that was you know 15 months ago 16 months ago and you know we'll talk about later but now it's almost at five percent so things have changed dramatically um but it, we do feel like um we're probably in the market feels like probably at the end of the rate hikes you know the fed has talked about maybe having to do one or two more um the market isn't buying into it they believe you know by the end of the year we're probably into cuts but bottom line we're we're somewhere near the top and and that's also you know helping the market yeah, that's 5% right there from essentially the floor yeah. to where we're at today. And that's just unprecedented. I mean, I remember when they got that first 75 basis point hike uh, last year and everybody about fell out of their chairs and we got four in a row. So yeah. <laughs> you're talking about the slope and how fast it went up going from zero to five in less than a year is a pretty aggressive move. Yeah, it just kept coming. I think it's a common question that, that clients are, are asking us, though, is is how much how much more do we have to endure? How, how far can the rates go? And like you said, Adam, um, I agree. I think we're close. And the market agrees too that um, I think there's a 70% chance on the next Fed meeting that they pause. I mm -hmm. think it's something like that. Maybe about a 20% yeah. chance they may go a quarter of a point. I think I have that slide I can pull up too on that, Jason. And um, uh oh, sideways. Let's flip turn my head sideways. Sorry. But um, but anyway, that's the just. And I think, and, and from what we, and again, Jerome Powell won't say this, but I think what we're all kind of reading, reading the tea leaves there is, is they're trying to get a hold of inflation. They're trying to, the whole reason why we did this and why, why they raised rates was to control inflation. They, they're not done, but, but they've got it down from, you know, 10 to four and there's still more, there's still more to go. But I think they're hoping that uh, the rates, the rate hikes they've done will continue to push inflation down without them having to continue raising because they also know too, that if they raise rates too much, then you're probably going to see more bank failures and a potential for really hurting the economony. And so they're kind of walking a tightrope there. But I think well, that's and, a consensus. They're going to sit still. Yeah, not 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 just bank failures, but they they're really trying to get um, you know employment sort of under control too, because cost of labor is is skyrocketed, as right. most of us can attest to. Um, and it, the you know with with more and more corporate layoffs being announced, um, you know they're they're getting what they want really by uh, you know with the product of those those rate hikes. Kind of off off topic, but but similar, I guess. I was just on the phone yesterday with my brother in law, and he works with a couple of very large um, hotel chains um, all around the country, and he's in charge of hiring and firing, et cetera. And he called me. He said, "Hey, what what do you know about uh, any big changes recently in the economy?" And I go, "Well, what do you mean?" He said, "For the first time ever, <laughs> um, my my bosses' bosses' bosses are all telling us to to slow down." And, and start actually laying people off. Um, mm -hmm. So I guess in the in the hotel industry, they're they're really starting to see things slow down, and so we're really starting to see the trickle down of these um, of these rates. So I guess people are finally hitting their credit card limits, and they're cutting, they're canceling those trips. Yeah, 
And I mean, we've we've hit rates to death. Um, you know, we're talking about it right now, but we won't hit you with all the basically money markets almost at five percent. But I think the interesting part um, w- with that is that money market funds have, have reached over five trillion dollars. I mean, we're seeing a lot in you know in our business with our clients. I mean, people are getting forty basis points in the bank, and you know, you can bring bring cash over here and do cash. What we call cash management with it. We'll explain it a little bit later with money market and, and T bills and you can get, you know, four and a half, five percent. It's quite a bit quite a bit different. Um but the one thing uh, we do have a chart um that is interesting. Historically over the last twenty years, you know, stocks have had a positive three year churn following previous peaks in money market m- money market reserves, I should say, or um, the amount of money in money market. So um, you know, hitting the top where you know, again, when does money go into money market? When rates have, you know, kind of peaked uh, that's when people are starting to, to move into cash and and be more fearful, but also get a return. And then, you know, you go into your next market cycle. So that's an interesting. Well, uh, I, I think that ties back in, Adam, to what we we're talking about with rates. Right. So uh, as rates start to peak, obviously, the, the, the interest you're getting in your money market starts to peak. And yep. eventually, as we hinted at, that there could be potential for you know, obviously pauses here shortly and then even cuts in interest rates down the road. Uh, and that's kind of what I think triggers that cycle of money back out of money market funds and into the market. And so that's where we probably get a lot of those three year numbers we've seen there. Yeah. And the I, psych- psychology there is right next last month, it was 5%. This month it's 4.7. Oh, my, my, my interest, you know, keeps going down and down. We got to find another place for this money, whether that's institutionally. So big, you know, big institutions that are, that are managing money or it's mom and pop doing their own thing. Yeah, every, everybody's sensitive to that. So well, I have you those. probably have some of the herd mentality in there, too, right? The usually the flight to quality, the average investor in this country times everything perfectly wrong. And so they got the huge flight to quality over to money market and T-bills because um, it shows there that usually when the herd moves, the herd times it wrong because then, then stocks end up taking off. 